Uh, I'm Herm, and this is Tim. We're just going to talk about uh, some of the new tooling we've been working on for um, the PhoneGap experience. Um, so the reason we've been building these tools is to make it easier for um, people to get into developing PhoneGap apps. Um, the project I've been working on is being, it's called the PhoneGap desktop app. It's basically a GUI that sits on top of um, the PhoneGap CLI. So you don't have to worry about uh, memorizing command line commands and uh, installing dependencies for that. Um, I've got the download link for it on the slide there and uh, a link for providing feedback and issues if you uh, find anything or want to make suggestions. And I'm just going to give a quick demo of how the desktop app works. All right, let me just switch out to this. So when you load the app, this is what you're going to see on uh, what yeah. Tim's hovering over there. May as well just reopen it like that, yeah. So this is and, the app. Uh, to create a new PhoneGap project, you click the plus button, create new project option, and then you select your project directory. And then you fill in the name of your app, and provide an ID for the app. <laughs> and click Create. So you've got a new project created. Uh, can you click on the link? This one? Yeah. Oh, the, oh you, you didn't see that. that. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you know it's real software, around. people. There so you if you click on the link, it actually takes you um, to your project folder directly at. <laughs> right. And um, so the GUI or desktop app just provides a way to easily create and manage your projects. So you can actually remove projects from it. Um, you can actually add existing projects into it. Mm. Oh, I'm right here. I think this is, uh, is an existing project. <laughs> I have the greatest project names, you can tell. <laughs> and um, so the desktop app actually creates a local server, which you can connect to using the um, developer app. And yeah, this is the developer app right here running the simulator. Uh, I guess since uh, only a few people here, I guess, or um, not that many people here have seen what the PhoneGap developer app is. It's essentially just a, a shell program which which has all the uh, core APIs kind of loaded in already. So like file, camera, uh, geolocation, contacts, that kind of thing. And the idea is like you're basically serving your PhoneGap project on a URL that this connects to, and then it'll download all the assets in the server. So you can like dev on your machine and then see the live updates in, the, in an app environment. So we got it for iOS, Android, and Windows Phone 8. But I'll just launch the simulator here to see our thing in progress. Oh, yeah. So that's the um, app that we just created using the uh, desktop app. Yeah. So if you see if I start editing around here. Oh, oh God. OK. If I say something like that, you can see it will update. Just like that. Woo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that's kind of a basic overview of um, the new, I guess, phone gap development experience with the tools that Tim and I have been working on. Uh, Tim's just going to talk about, um, I guess, the current sta state and some of the issues he ran into while uh, development of the develop developer app. Yeah. Um, Thanks, Herm. I also just like want to mention, like, uh, if you're not too into the GUI, it's all running from uh, the command line as well. Uh, oh, it's a little janky here. Let me just fix this up. Yeah, there you go. So you can like create uh, your own project from the command line. It's like pretty much all the same stuff. Uh, sorry, go back to my repo. And you do like phone gap create. Whatever. 
And it's basically the same kind of steps as uh, uh, Herm Schotter and his like GUI. Just go in there. You can see it's like that. You go phone gap serve. Oh, sorry. Go away. And it'll do basically the same thing on the command line. So it's trying to serve it in the background there. So that's a command line portion if you want to just know about that. Anyways, uh, yeah, I want to go back to, uh, oh. oh, there we go. Yeah, I just want to talk about the PhoneGap developer app uh, for the people using it right now. It's been a little wonky in the last few releases and I just like to sort of give a little update about that. Um, but uh, yeah, since we released earlier this year in about April, uh, we had a lot of people um, using the uh, iOS, Android, and Windows Phone versions, uh, a lot more than we expected, and that's really awesome. We had a lot of great feedback on our GitHub issue trackers and such. And uh, yeah, we added a lot of cool re uh, features um, to the uh, developer app and also the server component. So things like local tunnel, console support, auto reload, all that good kind of stuff. So um, the last kind of few releases has mostly just been bug fixes and Cordova updates. Um, but we found a really major uh, problem with the developer app. Um, we found that several major APIs don't work, which is really surprising. Um, the thing is about the developer app, it's kind of like uh, the cutting edge of uh, what we're doing right now with PhoneGap. And so we kind of didn't really foresee this being a problem, but What's going on is that, uh, <laughs> yeah, that was, that was pretty funny to find out. Um, yeah, it's, we're running into some cores issues. So like things that are trying to access uh, things off the file URI, just the way like the server component um, uh, sends down like the HTML stuff uh, to the client. And every time you're trying to access something locally on the file URI from a different source, it'll throw a cores issue. And this happens on all the major platforms. So just going back to that. So things like file transfer doesn't really work. Camera doesn't work in that you can't get the picture back. And same thing with like media, you're trying to access like a local audio file and it'll throw this error. And it was pretty brutal. <laughs> um, but you know, we here at PhoneGap are uh, good engineers, so we're figuring out uh, like a new path. So the last like two months, we are, uh, <laughs> Try to figure out a new way of uh, solving these issues. So, the way the PhoneGap developer app kind of just works right now is like whenever the client just requests any sort of resource, uh, the server will just spit it out. So, it kind of acts like a normal, you know, uh, internet server or whatever. If like you're just serving up a web page, you know, client asks for uh, index.html, server will give it index.html. Client asks for index.js, server will give that out. So in this new way, what we're thinking of uh, uh, doing was uh, zipping up the entire PhoneGap project and sending that down to the client and have that unzip on the client side. And by doing that, uh, everything's basically running off the file URI again, which is kind of like how PhoneGap runs anyways in the background, if you're kind of familiar with that. And by doing that, you kind of get rid of the, like, the cores issues the, uh, uh, and other things like that. But as we were going down this path, we uh, found out there's a lot of problems. Um, file API on all the platforms are really inconsistent, so having weird pathing issues that kind of work for one, don't really work for the other. For example, on Windows Phone, uh, they have a really funny prefix. It's like x dash wmapp zero colon. Uh, www is different from like uh, x dash at app zero colon slash slash www. So that was a fun bug to figure out. It took about a couple of days. Um, yeah, and so like there was also no unzip plugin working on Windows, and we had to write that. Uh, major rewrite of the code, and uh, also found out um, very recently that the Android's request file system is kind of broken, and that's a huge bummer. <sighs> But we will continue on our quest. We got one more ace up our sleeve, which is to write basically a plugin that handles this all for us. We would like to keep it in JavaScript, but this is the reality of things, I guess. But in the meantime, um, 
you know, that, that's kind of like the last sort of dev cycle for the last two months, so we really haven't been able to keep on top of our issue tracker, I feel like. Um, it's only myself and uh, Michael Brooks, I don't know where he is in the audience, He's somewhere around here. Anyways, yeah, it's just me and this, uh, him, and uh, it's been a little tough kind of managing everything, but, you know, um, we're still kind of keeping on top of the Cordova updates, so you can expect those in the future. Um, you know, Herm's working on a GUI here, so see more updates from there. And uh, I was also seeing a lot of um, uh, questions about rolling your own custom plugins. So in the developer app, what you download from the store is, you know, it only comes with a core set of plugins. You can't uh, use your own plugins unless you go to the GitHub repo and download like the project and then install your project or your plugins that way. But it requires just a little more than that. It requires touching the Connect Phone Gap server and um, it's a little, I guess, unintuitive if you just kind of step into the project, don't know really what's going on with the plumbing behind the scenes. So expect a blog post about that soon so you can write your own plugins and go from there, yeah. And uh, there's our issue tracker and, uh, yeah, and our website as well. So I guess that uh, concludes the presentation. <laughs>